Okay, YouTubers, here I am again, um, working on another part of the tank. This is going to be the turret slip ring, or race ring actually, not the slip ring, but the race ring. Um, here I'll show you in the book. Right here. This is what the turret will rotate on the hull with and this is like no other I've ever seen. Tamiya really outdid themselves with this uh, turret ring. It is a work of art. I know you're probably thinking, man, this guy, it's a little exaggerative, but I'm really not. Oh, there it is. Nobody else does it like this. I've seen a lot of RC tanks. And never have I seen this on one. Okay, this is going to be really fun. <laughs> really, really, really fun. So bear with me. All right. one of these slots so <clears throat> I know I had said in one of my other videos that uh, I was going to be building things um, not in a chronological order due to painting of things and this is definitely one of those things I think that as you're building this model you should put together your assemblies before you put it together anyway. It just makes more sense. But... There are people who just like to follow the book. Which we will follow the book eventually. Right now, I'm trying to do other things so that way I can get my painting stuff done oh. well that's no good now is it this is very similar to the grease I use at work <laughs> come here Very similar to the stuff that I use at work. <clears throat> for our for our ball bearings that that we put on our equipment. Definitely not the same consistency. But 
the right color. See, it's just a white ceramic grease. And this comes, obviously, as you can see, it comes with the model. Get up in there. There you go. I'm starting to think that maybe I should have put this in the hole before I put the bearings on there, but that's not the way that they show it. But that is the way that I'm going to do it the next time. Because I have two two race rings to do. So Is this not a beautiful piece of machinery? I just really believe that Tamiya definitely outdid themselves this time with this particular model. I will say this, I, I found, I was expecting it to be very expensive, but not as, ex, as expensive as it was. I was a little taken back by it, but hey, sometimes you just do what you got to do, right? I bought mine when I was in Japan, so it didn't cost me as much as it did as it would if I was to buy it in the States. All right. <clears throat> so there's the bottom part. And then going to take this piece and set it right there because that's what the balls are going to rotate on. And then this is going to go in there like that. This time, I'm going to do this a little different. Come here. This is going to help the balls stick in the holes once I put them in there yeah okay one more to go. All right. Let's 
see that. They just stick right in there. I gotta tell you, I have no idea how people do these videos. And don't run out of things to say. I mean, my friends would tell you that I'm a talker, but they're just biased. Kind of like a pinball machine there. Just squeeze it out and it comes shooting out of there like a cannon. Okay, not so much a cannon, but... I'm shooting out of there faster than it needs to be. Alright, two more to go. So something I've I've noticed in here is which you know makes sense of course Tamiya has added extra parts. One of the parts they added extra didn't really make too much sense to me but hey I'm okay with that. You want to add it extra then Make it extra. So, if you have this kit, or if you're going to get this kit, um, you will discover the same things I did, and you may question it. But there are extra pieces. Like, take for instance, you have two extra ball bearings. In case you lose one, you know, that makes sense. Because, you know, ball bearings are not very, um, they just do whatever they want to do. Take off and roll around. Okay. So... You're probably wondering how I knew where to put it. So right here, on this ring, right there, there's a little tip. And then you put it in this hole right here. Which when you look in the on the manual, it'll, it'll show you. But I wanted to show you too. All right. What I will say about Tamiya is, or with this particular thing, is they don't separate their hardware in in sections or anything like that. Like I, I feel like they probably should, but they don't. So you may have to um, get out a caliper and measure your hardware to verify and make sure that you have the right size hardware. That's awesome. Okay, let's put the other ones in there and then we will call this good and I will end my video I know you're probably thinking man why doesn't he just do more at one time well because 
I'm new to this whole thing and this is the first time I'm doing a build and I'm just kind of going along with the motions and doing what feels comfortable to me and doing it in pieces like this is what's comfortable and there you there you are there's the race ring or whatever you want to call it I'll call it a race ring because that's pretty much what it is and all right if you have any comments, concerns, questions, by all means, please message me. And uh, like the video if you liked it. Um, any type of feedback is welcomed. Uh, thank you very much. Have a great day.